Hi, I'm Elena. This is Anna. And this right here is Autumn. She, her new name is going to be Ella. We have a metal comb, ball tip shears, and these are thinning shears. And what we're going to demonstrate right now is how to trim the fur that grows into the eyes right here. And this is something that your puppies, your puppies will have this all trimmed up when you pick them up from us, but it grows back quickly. So before you're going to be able to get them to the groomer, um, because they're too young to go to the groomer at this point, this is going to grow back and you guys are going to have to do this. So you're going to need that metal comb and one of these two shears. So I'm going to start by showing you the um, thinning shears because this one takes a little more effort and is a little harder to do, but gives a more natural look. So the first thing that you want to do is have one person designated to holding the puppy. And you wanna do this when your puppy is really calm, not when they are um, super playful and energetic. You wanna wait until they're almost asleep, they're really restful and calm, and that's when you wanna do this. And you wanna keep a very calm setting. So talk quietly, talk slowly, let her smell the comb. Okay, she sees what it is. And then I'm going to comb out the area so I can see exactly where it is that I'm going to be trimming all this little fur that's blocking her eyes. You want to get all the sleep out of her eyes because that'll make it harder to trim. I get it all set so I can see exactly where I'm going to cut. And then when I know exactly where I'm going to, going to cut, I take my hand and under, go underneath her chin and on top of her nose. And I don't hold it until I'm ready to get the scissors out and start cutting. They don't like their nose to be held like that. So you want to hold their nose firm like that as shortly as possible so that they don't start fighting you too much. And then I go in and with the thinning shears, you have to take several cuts to get it just right. So that'll give it a more natural look right there. And then I'll go back with this and just trim out these little last pieces that are really there. You can see that side looks really good and it gives it a natural look. So. If you only have, you only probably need either or, this is how we do it. Just know this is a very quick way to do it because it's one cut and you can get all that fur. So most of you are probably only gonna want the ball tip shears, but those of you who already have thinning shears or who wanna do that, this is the best way to do it. So it does take a little more effort and time to get in there and get all that fur just right. But when you do it, you're gonna get a, a much more natural looking cut. So then we'll come back and do those last little ones that are kind of kind of sticking out. And you can see she's losing her patience with this. You don't have to hold her. I didn't mean to. Yeah. She's really losing her patience with it. Do you want to see the shears? She says, not really. Okay. Okay. There we go. And you saw she was kind of antsy there towards the end. So, okay. You want to see if she'll, she'll let us brush her, Anna? And we'll yeah. show a really quick brushing. So line brushing, you can do with a comb, but you can also do with one of the slicker brushes, but you're gonna use two hands so that one hand, my left hand here, is pulling the fur back and my right hand is combing so that I can see her skin. I wanna see her skin in between each comb, okay? So this is how we line brush and we just keep going back all the way now the back of her body is going to be the easiest of all to comb. These legs down here are much harder to comb and they usually don't like the legs being combed as much. So just make sure you get the legs, make sure you get the underarms and under her belly. You're going to do this over her entire body and this kind of line brushing needs to be done three to five times a week for the rest of her life. You'll find that once she turns about nine to 12 months old, her adult coat is gonna start coming in. And when that happens, you typically don't have to brush as often once the adult coat is fully in. But while the adult coat is coming in, you need to brush heavily because that's when it gets the most matted. The mats you're gonna find the most are gonna be behind the ears, underneath the arms, underneath the collar or the harness and on their back end, because those are the areas that have the most friction. Thank you, that's the end of this session.